of what just happened. Um, you fell in, you just went over with your uh, signs and your petitions. To <laughs> tell us what just happened. Um, so we just quickly had our told our stories just now, um, and we walked over with our 5,000 uh, letters um, of Americans, just like us, ordinary people, um, who have been attacked by Trump and who want their voices heard. So we walked over. Um, I asked for a representative of the Trump campaign. Um, he was right at the front door. There were already, you know, people trying to block us, get in the way. Um, I still charged through, and I still asked for him. Um, he wouldn't even shake my hand. Um, these are the type of people that work for Donald Trump's campaign. So I hope that that goes to show um, the people who support him and what he stands for. Um, I, he said he could not take the petitions and that we needed to get off his private property. They tried putting up barricades of wood pallets in front of us at the door, like we are some kind of crazy people trying to harm them, which is not true. We're coming in peace. We're just here to make sure that people's voices are heard. He did not want to take the petitions, so I just set them down and said, well, I hope that you can get these to Mr. Donald Trump. Um, and we made sure to get off their property peacefully. Well, and I just want to re re reiterate the fact that we were very peaceful. We came in here, we had a podium, we told all our stories, we were just talking amongst each other, and then we had these uh, Trump supporters who come right behind us, and just as we're doing our speeches, they were seeing a lot of people comment, um, which was very rude, and we were just very peaceful, and just the way that they handled it was in um, a way that we would handle this situation. And uh, we drowned out their uh, hateful comments of the hecklers with our powerful and uh, wonderful messages. So I would say at the end of the day, it was a good day for us and not for them. Great. Thank you.